Our EIDL grant applications from the first week of April just being processed this week. That is the major breaking news this afternoon. Hey, this is Alloy Late, and thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe to this channel for daily updates. And we're going to be answering your questions within a moment. All right, we're going to actually jump into one of the comments by one of you that delivered a shocking revelation. The revelation was delivered by Jennifer in one of the comments eight hours ago. She said, I just spoke to someone in the escalation department at SBA, Alloy Late, and she said they're still processing applications for the first week of April. She also recommended that I look into applying for a PPP loan, even though I'm a sole proprietor and the only employee because they're not backed up as the department for EIDL loan applications. I didn't know if I should apply for PPP. I'm so confused now. Our advice to you is you should not be applying for a PPP loan. Uh, it is a mechanism that is a foul. It doesn't really work well. The lenders are just not very responsive. And basically, it's a loan. If you do not submit the documentation and, and pay all the people the way you're supposed to and submit the documentation to your lender by mid-June, which is just around the corner, or you do and the lender becomes non-responsive and ghosts you, your grant will turn into a massive loan. It's an instrument we have advised you not to follow. Um, there are more videos on this channel about the PPP loan. All right, so let's get to the rest of the questions. And we also have one major revelation later in these questions today. Boy, it's a good one. All right, Steve says, when I applied for the e my EIDL and I hit the submit, I don't remember if I applied for the loan also. And I was wondering if I can go back and add it now. My name is Steve. Well, thanks for tuning in, Steve. You know, no, you can't. Uh, either you applied for an EIDL grant or an EIDL loan. You would sort of know if you did by now, they would have reached out to you. The EIDL loan was a process that was opened in, in early March and then went to mid-June, April. However, on Monday, the EIDL loan for agricultural businesses, 500 employees or less, went live. You can reapply. You can apply now if you are that. And someone actually tuned in and said they, to this channel said they are an agricultural. And because of our videos, they applied on Monday. So good luck with that. All right, Chris says, I applied for EIDL on March 30th. SBA pulled credit. SBA deposited 1,000. But Norse correspondents accept that. Now what? Well, nothing else to be done. If you apply for just an EIDL grant and not a loan also, then that's all you're going to get. EIDL is not paying people the full $10,000. They're paying $1,000 per employee. And a lot of channels other channels are telling you that the rest of the money is going to come to you. There's no indication of that. There's just a lot of letter writing by members of Congress asking that the remaining funds uh, be turned over to you by SBA. Currently, there's no funding to provide for it, and there's no response by SBA that they're going to do it. All right. PR says, and I changed your name, says, please do not use my name. So I changed it. I applied for an EIDL loan for ag business. Oh, great. I assume this was on Monday. If the loan, if it's a loan and not a grant, why be shown sent a loan application? Uh, do I do a credit check? Thanks for the accurate information. Yes, yes to everything. Um, Monday, EIDL loans would lie for agricultural businesses. It's a loan. It's not a grant. Uh, there's no advance. You'll be treated like a loan. There will be a credit check. Um, it's a loan to the business. But as any loan to the business that's done by SBA, they check you. And you used your own individual banking information. Uh, it's okay that you may have started the process, but fix it right away. So go to your local bank and get a, uh, give them your EIN for your business and get a business banking account right away because SBA is going to ask you for it right away. Basically, they're not going to deposit funds in your personal bank account. All right, Marilyn. Hello, my name is Marilyn. I applied for a grant on April 4th, and I've only received two emails. My questions are, if you're denied for a loan or grant, will you get a denial letter? And are they giving the full 10000 now or still $1,000 per employee? Thank you for a response. Be great. Appreciate it. Uh, Marilyn, no. They are not giving the full 10000 So however many employees you disclose on the application, that is the amount they're paying. If you disclose 10 or more employees, then you're getting a $10,000 check. Uh if you, the question of whether you're going to learn whether you're denied for a loan, yeah, loans are still being processed. Um, you should have been assigned a loan officer by now. April 4th is way too long. If you applied for a loan back in March, early April, a loan, um, call SBA right away. 
Keenan says, I filled out the IDL, did not have the same application number. Uh, if I did not save the application number, can I obtain it? Ooh, um, that's a hot mess. Don't know, really don't know. Uh, your best bet is to just provide SBA if you want to call them up on the phone, the date in which you applied and the state in which you applied, and that will give them guidance. That is really what's gearing the number of applicants, applicants knowing when, they're, when the responses are coming, where their business is located and when they applied. Nicholas, so no credit check was done by, by EIDL. A portion was sent. Questions, will, will, the proceeds, will the proceeds go from the grant to a loan? No. So if you only applied for, and we get this question a lot, if you only apply for grant, a grant and not for a loan, you're done. There's nothing else for you to do. You don't have to do any more paperwork. You don't have to do any more reporting. You're, you're done. There is nothing else. If you also apply for a loan, then it is part of the whole package. And I will fully disclose to you the terminology, these words that they chose is as confusing as they could possibly choose, have chosen. EIDL loan, EIDL stands for, uh, the, or the L of the EIDL stands for loan. And if you go to the website, the EIDL grant it says it's a grant against, an advance against a loan. It's just not. It is not, it's not, it's not. If you just apply for a grant, it is money coming to you. It's not, you do not have to pay it back. You have nothing else to do. You're done. All right. Uh, Gold Rush, L8, you were right. Thank you. Called SBA this morning, and as usual, got the generic response about the application. I asked to speak to a Tier 2 agent, which was our advice for many, many weeks on this channel. Actually, eight, nine days of this, eight days of this channel. This is day eight. Uh, and asked for someone, and they were very thorough and helped me. As you stated, when filling out the application under my bank account name, I stated my business name rather than my personal name attached to my personal Social Security number. Great point, Gold Rush. That was our point in the last two videos this week. The agent updated the information, forwarded underwriter for approval. As a result of you, I'm now getting uh, funded. Good luck. I'm paraphrasing these last two sentences. And then he says, good luck, everyone, and follow LA as closely as he speaks facts about the situation compared to others. Facts. Thanks again. Thank you, Gold Rush. So what Gold Rush is referring to is on Monday uh, and Tuesday this week, we alerted you to why you may not have received your EIDL grant. It is simply one or two issues, irregularities or inconsistencies in what you did in filling out your paperwork. Ensure that when you fill out your EIDL grant that you put the business name and the business name as appears on the tax return, the business name as the EIN was issued and the business name as the business account, bank account listed. And I don't, I literally mean it down to the letter. I don't mean you paraphrased it or added words or subtracted words. Any of those things could have impacted the receipt of funds. Next, the banking account information. Do not put your bank account, your personal bank account, your husband's bank account, your trust account. It has to be the bank account that has the name of the applicant on it. So if the applicant is something, something incorporation, then the banking account has to say exactly that. Any error like that is going to prevent you from being paid. As Gold Rest, as we have been recording all week, and Gold Rest confirmed with SBA. Uh, MNG says, can you talk about PPL forgiveness? Yes. <laughs> we have a lot of videos about that. Um, we'll cover it more as we get into June. But if you've got a PPP loan, you need to start spending it now. You have to put those people back to work, get those receipts ready, keep checks of everything you're paying them with, pay them with the accounts, the bank accounts that were issued the loan, get everything ready, spend the money, spend all the money, and get ready to submit it to your lender. Don't submit it to your lender at the last minute. Uh, and hopefully you have a line of communication with your lender that they answer and respond to you. If they ghost you, good luck, because that is going to be a bad scenario very quickly. If they do not forgive, it turns into a loan. Um, on the none, <laughs> apply for a PPP immediately. Do you, um, takes about five minutes. Yes, it only takes about five minutes to apply for a PPP. In fact, it only takes five minutes to, well, half an hour to apply to 20 PPP lenders. Do you know how long it takes to get a response back for them? That's a whole other question. Weeks. 
They are absolutely horrible. Uh, Kay says she was in the same boot, uh, boat as someone else, so I'm going to pass that up. John says, very good reporting. Thanks for the good job. Thank you, John. Cindy says, filed a month ago, EIDL grant. Had credit pulled on April 14th. Good credit. Still no grant. Called SBA and they said, it's being processed. Sounded like a broken record. Just a clear clerk brushing you off. What now? Call back. As we said, call back. Call back and tell them, hey, it's been four weeks. You want a tier two uh, representative? We didn't use the word tier two, but a lot of people in the comments are calling it tier two. Ask to be escalated to another representative who supervisor because it's been more four weeks. You had a credit check and you don't see the payments. Simple as that, and you'll get results. But the payment will be coming. Clyde, how long does it take to get a loan offer after you get an EIDL grant? I got an EIDL grant in 420, but I have not received a loan offer. Answer is never. <laughs> EIDL loan process is closed. It went live in March and was closed by mid-April. It went live on this last Monday for agricultural businesses, 50, 500 employees or less. It's not reopened for anyone else. Dolly says, literally, you're bringing the best and most in-depth info to YouTube. Thank you for your time. I will definitely keep on calling this as the situation is. Wish I was a bit more attentive when they were asking for the Social Security as well. I assumed they would validate the business, the owners of the business, but the grant was coming, the grant was coming to us personally. I don't know what I would have thought. Praying it works. So she's in the same boat, boat as Gold Rush inconsistencies potentially in the application form, list of the bank account or the business name, call SBA. If you are watching this video, haven't watched our videos this week, you haven't yet subscribed, you should subscribe, but haven't subscribed, and you're just hearing about this inconsistency problem that may have held up your grant, real, figure, go through your notes, look at your application, look at what you saved, and if you see an inconsistency, call SBA right away. All right, Gremlin says, I applied for an EIDL on April 7th. I got an email last Friday saying my loan was being processed. Today, my account was credited for 9K. No one pulled my credit. The question is, why only 9K? Since I got an EIDL, why be still getting a PP loan, PPPL loan from my employees? No and no. What you got was nine. You got $9,000 because you apparently indicated 9,000 employees. That's all you're getting, not getting the other $1,000. Are you getting an EIDL loan? No. The idea of loans, unless you requested one back in March, you're not getting one. They, that window is closed. Um, PPP loan is a whole other process. If you want to follow it and go down that path, God help you. Um, make sure you have warm boots on because it's a lot of hot coals you're going to be walking over. All right. Steve says, filed 330, credit pulled on 416, memorable, numerous calls. Today received a personal email personal email from an SBA loan officer saying it was being processed and a determination about my loan. I'm guessing at this point there's some reason my application was put in an agent review. I'm assuming Steve is saying that he applied for a loan. If he applied for a grant, really fascinating. I mean, we have never heard anyone on this channel saying that they got a personal email from someone. Um, KC applied for an EIDL grant in March and received it on April 21st. I have two employees that include myself for both my businesses. Uh, I received a letter from SBN May on Saturday. Yeah, that's like everyone else. And it said my application is being processed. I came to my personal email and so my business email when they only have uh, no credit check has been done on me. What do you think? Oh, so she's basically, uh, Casey or he is basically saying uh, they haven't received anything, but they see a lot of communications. April 21st. If you got that email over the weekend and you haven't seen funds, um, if you haven't seen funds by Thursday, call SBA. Uh, a lot of people got that email, had already received funds on Friday. Some got funds on Friday, never received the email. The email is much of nothing. It says stuff are being processed for people who already were processed. But if you have not, if you applied on uh in a grant for an EIDL grant in March, I haven't seen anything. You should be on the phone. You should have already been on the phone several times already by now. Amy says, I've subscribed, LLA. Here's my question. I'm an independent contractor and don't have an EIN. Do you think it's going to be an issue? <sighs> yeah, I, I, I think so. Because EIN was one of the questions on the form. This is a grant, an EIDL grant for businesses. 
And it's for business, it's not for people. It's not for persons. It's not for uh, musicians that are working as, as, as an individual musician. Rather, it's for businesses. Um, the business can be one employee, but you have to have, be a business and you have to have an EIN. So if you provide a, provide a personal social security number and you actually had an EIN, you can correct it. But if you did not have an EIN, they're going to catch it. And I think you're going to be denied. Um, and I'm sorry. Brett said, if you applied on Monday, oh, listen to this question. If you applied on Monday, when you got to the second last page of the application, you had to you had the option to select the check mark in the box asking $10,000 grant just as the EIDL application? No. What went live on Monday was not a grant. It was an EIDL application for a loan for agricultural business, 500 employees or less. It was not a grant application. Um, now, if you are an EIDL applicant for a loan that is agricultural and you did that on Monday and it does queue up the potential of a grant also for your business. It may be advanced against the loan. I don't know that. Um, but if you're not agricultural, you're not going to pass. All right. So we are to... Oh, let me jump to Ricardo. Hey, buddy. April applied April 4, uh, April 9th. You were right. I woke up with the $1,000 grant in my personal bank account this morning. Not cr No credit check at all. Credit is horrible. Uh... You were right, got my money. And Rome says, glad to hear that, Ricardo. Congratulations. And Rome says, so you sent it to your personal account and not your business account. If so, then I should get it sent to my personal account. You know, interesting point. Rome is picking up on what Ricardo said. Maybe if you listed the personal account, it, it, it's, it's getting through. I don't know. But I do know if the EIN is wrong or the name is wrong, that is clearly a big problem. If you're watching this video I would, and you know that there's an error, call them up. Don't risk it. All right, so let's get to the big one at the very end from John Doe. Of course, that's the name he provides. But let me tell you what he says in his comments. Elliot, I have to say thank you. I spoke with SBA this morning, and there was indeed an issue. Made aware to you, made aware to me by you, exclamation point. EIN and the exact name inconsistent. Here we go. You nailed it in your video. My application had a flag on it. Quote, unable to verify account. So here's the big bombshell. We told you we're going to leave it for the end of this video. And I hope you watch the end. We're at 17 minute running time. And I hope you watch to the end. Applications are being held for unable to verify account. When there's an inconsistency with the EIN and the name. Gave the number associated with the EIN number and it should all be fine now. The guy said it's going to be re-reviewed. They will try to make, they try to make the payment. Oh, interesting. So they tried to make the payment in mid-March, in mid-April, right after the credit check. And it was going to come to 10000 but they couldn't go through. The guy was very nice. He says, I watch, and John goes on to say, I watch a lot of your videos, L8, and we're scrambling to survive and many are clickbait tours. Noting unproductive and unhelpful videos, your information was spot on. And again, thank you. You made me realize there was a problem and how to fix it. Again, thank you. So that was the big revelation we left for the end of this video. Boy, I hope you watch to the end because tomorrow we'll add this as well. But there you go. If you had inconsistency, inconsistent names or inconsistent EINs or addresses or bank account informations, unable to verify account is where your account may be. You're wondering why you don't have your ideal grant and your neighbor does. It could be as simple as one digit. As always, subscribe, like the video, and you could possibly be on the path to getting the things done right very soon. This is LLA and God bless.